What's up, peeps? I'm back. This is Kimberly Purpose. On this particular blog, I want to do another video. Um, I guess this time I wanted to talk about, um, I guess I could talk about my weight loss journey. This time I wanted to talk about how um, I'm doing with my weight loss. As you all know that um, I was over 200 pounds. A couple, you know, a few years ago, and I'm um, finally under less than 200 pounds, and I'm, I'm gradually working on reaching my goals. Um, right now, I wear probably about a size 12 in pants. <laughs> I have to get a little bit larger because I have a big butt, <laughs> so I have to get um, pants a little bit larger, and uh, because of my rear end. Um, but if I didn't have a big butt, I probably could get in size 10, but I have to get a size larger even though it be loose around the waist um i can wear 10 in dresses right now that's what i'm wearing right now and in tops i wear medium a medium up top um and that's how it is that's where i'm at right now um, i stopped weighing myself all the time originally i was weighing myself the weight loss was going pretty fast at first when i um first was going but when i had the a wellness coach um, he was telling me that uh, sometimes you know you lose weight initially really fast but then it might tinker off after a while so um, yeah so um and that's what's happening right now it's like I'm stabilizing so I have to work a lot harder to, for my weight to come off and, and sometimes I don't see the results as quickly as I would like sometimes I get a little discouraged so I stop weighing myself every week and instead, you know, or, or every month because I get a little frustrated. So I, I just weigh myself every three to six months instead. So when I do see results, I do see results. <laughs> but I wanted to talk about what I do to keep my weight down. I know the wellness coach was telling me about um, you need to drink water. We tend to drink more water than we tend to not drink enough water. So what I started doing was I started drinking more water and um, instead of drinking a lot of sodas and um, juices, juices have a lot of fructose in it, which is can be very fattening, a lot of sugars. And so I, I eliminated that. It took me a while because I was so, uh, you know, I craved sugar so much and I craved my fruit juice. But um, I used to drink Ruby Red and it was, you know high in fructose and once I started reading the labels I realized hey I can't drink that no more so now I don't drink any more um, no more fruit juice anymore so I drink mostly water I do drink coffee in the morning I get me a one cup <laughs> I am a little guilty on that and I put a little creamer in there and a little bit of sugar but other than that I drink um, water all the time and um, this is starting to annoy me. Just that, I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, this is just in the camera a little bit. And um, what else? The other thing I was doing, I wanted to share that um, I found some really nice potatoes. I know those of y'all who eat potatoes and, or any type of vegetable, you know. I know this have carbs, you know, some people. But, um. What I've been doing is I used to like French fries all the time. Instead of eating French fries, I eat baked potato. Like if you know, I have a burger or or like a turkey burger or something, or a veggie burger. I you know instead of having, I know I. Some people say you're not supposed to have carbs, but me, I gotta have my potato. <laughs> and when I have my rice, I have I try to replace it instead of getting um, white rice, I get brown rice and. And sometimes if I'm at a Chinese restaurant, sometimes they don't have brown rice. So I have to have, I get white rice. But I try to make sure it's steamed as, as opposed to fried because frying can be a little bit a lot more fattening. You know, but I try to replace all my rice with brown rice. But anyway, back to the top of the potato. <laughs> the potato, um, I was looking right here. It's homegrown. It's, I think this farm that it says here, yeah, it says packed in Forest Park, Georgia. Yeah, this is, hey, 
Hey, homegrown. It's called Pro Health Potatoes right here in Georgia. And where I'm at. And it has non-GMO products. So I started to, I don't know if y'all can see that. I'm trying to zoom in so you can see that. Yeah. But anyway, it has, um, it says non-GMO products. And um, I'm starting to start look at packages more to see if they have GMO. For those of y'all who don't know what GMO, gen genetically altered um, foods that's been genetically altered. Some, some um, companies are now putting down that they're not G have no GMOs. I'm not sure if it's true or not, but I know I'm hoping they're doing better in the United States about labeling whether or not foods are genetically altered. Um, I've been reading up on it. It's not a lot of... Well, I, I got to learn more about um, GMOs because um, I'm not going to say anything because I'm not sure what the side effects of eating g foods that are genetically altered um, would. But, uh, yeah, I wanted to read up a little bit more on that. But if y'all know more about GMO foods and uh, what's in it and, well... How it affects the body <laughs> it obviously seems like it's unnatural and unhealthy you know so put your comments below I'd love to hear what you have to say but um I've been trying to look at labels more and see if um, the food has that in there and if they do I well here in the United States they don't have that labeling like they do in Europe I heard that a lot of European countries had to have their foods labeled whether or not it has GMOs or it's um, a GMO product or not but here in the United States they don't really have it I think it's voluntary for some companies to mention that they are uh, have are GMO or if a product is GMO or isn't GMO so I guess it's up to the company to decide whether or not they want to put that on there or not but but this company is here right here in Atlanta hey <laughs> pro-life but um yeah, I just wanted to share some tips with you all. I look forward to hearing from you guys. Um, please put your comments below and like this video and subscribe. And till next time, peace and stay healthy. Bye-bye.